Hello, good people. It is day number three of Live Simple 7 Challenge. As you can tell, I am super excited because this challenge is important for me to help you learn the simple things in life to help you improve and to live a longer life. I'm the facilitator of this challenge. My name is Nikedra Brown. I'm doing this with Zing Life Services and it is all about you. We want you to challenge yourself to put these simple steps in place so that you can improve your life. So as stated, this is day number three. So if you are just watching this as your first day, you need to go back and watch day number one and day number two because this is day number three. Now, if you have been keeping up and you are in line with day number three, then you should be able to know what you have done to challenge yourself for day number one and day number two. All right, so I wanna make sure that we are adding each day. You will challenge yourself every day as we continue in this effort to stay on our Life Simple 7 Challenge, all right? So for day number one, let's recap really quickly. We talked about how to become more active. Day number two, we talked about how to eat better. And day number three, we're gonna talk about weight. So that's super important to a lot of people. Weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, weight. So it's a part of Life Simple 7 because in order to live a healthy life, to make that life last longer, you need to make sure your weight is manageable. Your weight is not in excess and you need to have the right amount of weight. So you can't be too thin you can't be too large. You need to be somewhere in the middle. So Life Simple 7 challenge for today is just manage your weight. So how do you do that? You have to manage your weight by one, recognizing how much you weigh right now. So your challenge for today, again, is super simple. Your challenge for today is to weigh yourself. Yes, that is your challenge for today. Your challenge for today is to weigh yourself. If you don't have a scale at home, find somebody, call somebody who has one and go and weigh yourself. Now, optimally your weight should be done in the morning, before you eat, and without clothes. But, if you're watching this and you're already past that point, I want you to find a scale and weigh yourself. That's your challenge for today. Remember, this is a challenge, so it means that you have to change some things in order to be challenged. So let's find out how much you weigh. You'd be surprised how many people I see and I say, what, 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 how much do you weigh? And their response is too much or their response is I don't weigh myself. We have to know our numbers, right? So a part of knowing our numbers is to make sure that we have all the numbers in front of us so that we will know if they are improving or if they're actually getting worse. So your challenge for today is to weigh yourself. Once you get your number, I want you to either put that number in the app that you downloaded for yesterday's challenge, or I want you to just put it on a piece of paper or put it in a note on your phone. Put the day's date by it if you're writing it down or keeping it on a note, but get your weight checked today. That's your challenge for today because you have to understand how what you eat and your calories and being more active influence your weight. So you see how all this is tying in? We talked about activity first. We talked about food intake yesterday. And now we're gonna use that to help manage your weight. Simple, it's super simple. Some of this, most of this you probably already know, but when you put it all together, you're able to see how it actually ties in. Now we talked a little bit about the reduction of calories if your effort is to lose weight. So once you get your weight and you write it down, I want you to determine, is this weight ideal for you? Meaning, is this weight a good weight? Is it more than what you'd like? Is it less than what you'd like? And then if it is not ideal for you, put a number that you would like to achieve. So put a number that you would like to achieve in terms of weight. So in order to make some changes with your weight, you have to make some changes to the things that influence weight. What are those things? Food, so calories in, calories out, and activity. 
So those are both crucial to determining your weight because you add more calories, you add more weight. You decrease calories, you decrease weight. Same thing about exercise. You increase exercise, you decrease weight. You decrease exercise, you increase weight. Those are inversely proportional. So you can use your weight and your height to find out your BMI, your body mass index. I know you hear people talking about this all the time. Lots of people say, oh, BMI does not relate to me it does not translate to me well it is your weight in relation to your height and it helps to give you a ballpark range of where you are in terms of ideal weight no it's not perfect for everybody but it at least gives you some idea of where you can look where you can um kind of track and trend if you're in line with other people who weigh the same who are the same height and that sort of thing and so weight management is going to be Simple step number three, tips for success. Again, we get our information from the American Heart Association. And so you'll see the PDF that is uploaded with this will be directly from um, some literature that we have as we have an alliance with them, with our CPR trainings and our other heart and stroke certification and courses. So we want to make sure that you know we are in direct alignment with the American Heart Association and most of the information we give you comes from them. We know that they are a credit source because we know that they are fully functioning, that they do research, and that they are accredited as it relates, they're credible as it relates to their information. So why don't you know that's where we get our information from to give to you. So tips for success are going to be to monitor your portion size. Monitor your portion size. A, lo a, a smaller portion size is going to be smaller calories. In most cases, there are some things that are higher in caloric content and are smaller in size. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to eat a piece of cake or a chunk of brownie to get your calories up. So you're going to want to monitor your portion size. You want to get active. We talked about the necessary amount of time you need to be active in day number one. So if you need to refresh yourself, go back and watch that video. And you want to eat smart. So you can eat any number of things. There are any number of things that you can eat, but should you eat them? Sometimes it's mind over matter. Sometimes it's a matter of not having certain foods into your house or in your house because if they're there, then you're going to eat them. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I do that for some things as well because I know my resistance of certain foods is going to be low, particularly at night which is the worst time you should be snacking on things that are, have high calorie content and full of fat. But if you know that's a weakness of you, then don't even have it in your house at all. And so that's a couple of tips for success for managing your weight. Again, the key is going to be reducing your calories, increasing your exercise. We've talked already in day number one and day number two about being active, about monitoring what you're eating. And today we're bringing it full circle with your weight. So your challenge for today is to write your weight down. If you download the app for yesterday's challenge, you want to put it into your app. And if you just write it down on a piece of paper or include it in your notes, make sure you put the date beside it. You want to also set a goal. Find out if your BMI is within normal range and what is your goal for weight loss or weight gain to get you at an ideal number. You got it? All right, so remember you should be adding the challenge each day. These are simple, right? These are super simple challenges. They're not intended to be brain or rocket science, but they help to jog your memory. They help to jog your mind. For some of you, it's first time knowledge of learning exactly how everything works together for the greater good. We're teaching you the what and the why. And we're actually going to have a Zing Spring Clean Your Body coming up in May that is going to teach you the ins and outs of how. So if you're getting this information and you're like, I still don't know how to determine my calories. I still don't know how to figure out my BMI and if I'm on the right track. I still don't know how much I should be eating a portion size. I still don't know how much exercise I should be getting if this exercise is right for me. Stay tuned because we are going to have Spring Clean Your Body coming up in May. And so we want to make sure that you all are able to get directly from this challenge and roll over to get the how in our next 
um, course. It's going to be an eight-week course. And so this challenge, though, is a great jump start in the right direction to let you know and to motivate you on what you need, some extra help, some extra practice, and just to live life simply. This thing is so simple, but we like to make it hard. We like to make losing weight, staying healthy, living a longer life so much harder than it has to be. But this week, our intent is to show you seven things that you can do to help live life simple. Life Simple 7. So this was day, day three. Stay tuned for days four through seven. Make sure you invite somebody to this challenge if you found it to be helpful. Make sure that you tune in to our live Q&A tonight, that you bring your questions. You should have directions in your email about how to join the question and answer session. I hope you are enjoying getting these simple tips. Again, I am Nikeja Brown, the facilitator for Life Simple 7 with Zing Life Services, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.